a late penalty eventually earned Jurgen Klopp's side a 2-1 win over Fulham at Craven Cottage to take them two points clear of Manchester City. But Van Dijk was as the center of a defensive mix-up involving a listen and started by James Milner that enabled former Liverpool player Ryan Babel almost to snatch a point. I am not giving excuses, Van Dijk said. I should have handled it better. They scored but so did we and we have three points and move back to the top of the table. We knew it would be tough. We made it difficult for ourselves. We weren't calm on the ball. Substitute Milner was just as apologetic, even though he later made up for it by converting the late penalty. The gaffer told me to come on and calm it down and the first thing I do is slice it and put Virgil under pressure. He said. The goal was important to put away. You have to go back to what you practice, be calm and do what you do. Despite the late drama, Klopp backed his stars. I am not in any doubt about my players' nerves, he said. We go for perfection, but it is rare that you get it. People will say we need to be more convincing, but we are at the start of a development, not the end. The first half we were a bit rusty. In the second half we could have killed it off, but if you don't, that can happen. Babel was there that is how football is. I like the way my players reacted, that is what gives us the opportunity to win games. Fulham deserved a goal, but we deserved three points. It was a sensational result. Top is the best position to be in. Nothing is decided, but we can make sure we stay in the race. By contrast, another defeat leaves Fulham 13 points from safety. That was typical for our season the effort was there for 90 minutes, but you need a bit of luck and a little bit of intelligence," Babel said. In team sports sometimes you make mistakes and a squad like Liverpool will finish it off. Liverpool midfielder Jordan Henderson missed the game through injury, but Klopp revealed he would spend a few more days at Melwood before joining up with the England squad. It looks positive, he said.